These conditions are just unreal to shoot photography in. My gear's all wet. Everything's just just covered in snow. So I don't know what I was thinking. So what's going on everybody? If you haven't, can't tell already, um, for some odd reason, I felt it uh, necessary to come out in a, a winter storm. Uh, we're currently experiencing our third back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back, um, nor'easter here in New England. We're supposed to get uh, anywhere from 8 to 12, possibly 16 inches of snow today. Um, so I'm not really sure what made me want to come out and shoot photography today. Besides the fact, you know, I had a snow day. I didn't want to sit in the house and uh, waste a day away. So I'm going to walk around, do my due diligence, and see if I can't find a few compositions that we can put together and capture some of this just amazing um, snow that we're getting today. I do have some high gusty winds, so I'm going to have to compete with that. I'll really have to tweak my ISO, my shutter speed, so I can get some good images today. Probably not going to use any filters whatsoever. Um, so, yeah. I figured I'd just get out here and see what we can do in this beautiful New England nor'easter that we're experiencing. So let's go find ourselves a composition or two. So I think I found uh, my first composition that I'm going to try to get as I was walking through just these beautiful trails right now and I mean it's just amazing to be out here first and foremost. Um, I've kind of gone inside the woodland so I could be prote protected by some of the wind which has helped a lot. Um, I can still hear all the wind above me but where I'm at it's not so bad. I still have a good breeze but it's not ho horrible. But anyway as I was walking through the woodland I just happened to glance off to my left and I know you've already seen it. Uh, but there's this lone tree here. I think it's a pine. I'm not great on my my tree knowledge or whatever, but uh, I believe it's a pine tree. Um, this the bottom part of the the tree has been worked on and, and chewed on by it looks like appears to be a beaver, and it's just kind of sitting there isolated by itself amongst all these little um, uh, smaller trees and branches that are just covered with this packed snow, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean. I think what I'm going to go for um, on this is a vertical um, composition. Maybe even once I get it into Photoshop, I'm think or, or Lightroom, I'm thinking it's probably going to be best rendered as either a square crop or maybe just simply an eight by ten crop. At least that's how I see it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the camera gear out and uh, get things set up. And I'm going to work through this composition. So I'm really glad that I came across this. So hopefully this one's going to work out for me. I was actually on my way to another spot that I was going to try and find a composition that I have in mind. Uh, but I saw this on the way. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and take the image and see how it turns out. So give me a few minutes. I'll get things set up and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got everything set up. I think it's turning out really well. 
um, on most of my, I'll tell you some of the settings that I've got. What I've been working with, I'm sitting at ISO 100, but I went down the F5.6 so I can get a quick enough shutter speed to um, try to freeze these trees as they kind of sway in the, in the wind a little bit, because I didn't want any motion blur on these trees, and hopefully I've been able to do that with uh, the shutter speed. And my shutter speeds range anywhere from uh, 1 100th to 1 120th of a second, so I think that's fast enough to where it should freeze um, the motion. I think from where I'm sitting, I'm right at 24, 24 millimeter on the focal length. It gets going to get it right in there. Um, and I do believe it's going to look really good as an 8x10 crop. So anyway, it's not normally how I would talk you through the image, but uh, just with the battery on the, on the Panasonic, I don't want it to die on me. I want to try to get another image or two while I'm out here. So anyway, here's the image now. I found a composition that I want to try to get, but it's so close to the water's edge along the warden's pond here that I won't be able to set up anything to really talk you through the image. So I've got the camera set up in a spot to where um, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to take these images. Um, on another note, I'm not even going to be uh, shooting off a tripod, which is not probably the smartest thing to do right now in these conditions. Um, I bumped my ISO up to like 320 and I've switched over to my 70 to 200 lens because I saw this uh, image across the pond that I wanted to capture but again it's just so close to the water's edge that I can't set up any tripod and get anything set up down there so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna grab my camera handheld um, go go frame the shot up and and try to get a few of these shots and hopefully they turn out and and that you you know you'll see what I saw across the pond when I show you the image all right so if you can see uh, out there in the frame uh, you're kind of seeing what I'm thinking of um, this this rock right there that's covered with snow it, it, and then the the trailed bridge the little walking bridge is behind it is what i'm capturing and then the the water in front of it's putting off a nice reflection of this trees and whatnot so um that's the image and that's the frame that i'm looking for and all the trees are surrounding it are just covered with this awesome uh thick layer of snow and then the contrast between the white snow and the brown bark of the trees and then the dark water and the white snow on top of that rock it's get, just it just seems like it's going to be such a great image so I'm going to go ahead uh, grab the camera walk up there handheld uh, frame it up a few times and see if I can't get a good image out of it so wish me luck Okay, so as I'm walking through these trails, I've come across another image that I'd like to try to get. Uh, what we're looking at is is a low-hanging branch that's coming down off of, off a tree. Just it's settled right in the middle of the trail, and it, it just with all the snow that's captured on the sides of these small um, detailed branches that are webbing out um, like a spider web across this trail, it just caught my eyes as I was walking through it. So what I what I had in mind was to get the 70 to 200 out. Um, and use a, sh a, a wide open aperture of f2.8 so I can get a very shallow depth of field so I can isolate this branch along this trail and then get everything in the background blurred out. Um, hopefully the, when I get this in post production I'm going to probably put it in a, a, uh, a square crop. Um, I just like how these, these, these detailed branches just come out at different angles with all the snow that's caught on them and built up on them. It just really caught my eyes as I was walking through. So um, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the image here in a second. And we'll, we'll get this image and we'll keep moving on. So hopefully we'll get a few more images out here today. I'm still got lots of daylight left. I'm not, you know, too cold out here. I've bundled up and, you know, put layers on. So I'm not so bad out here. Um, so we'll talk through this image here in a second. Um, I've kind of 
with my histogram I've kind of uh, exposed everything to the right uh, try to get all the highlights uh, there and because there's not going to be too much detail in the shadows everything's white out here anyway so I'd like to bring that up as high as I can without you know um, blowing out any of the highlights um, so I've got a good uh, looks the histogram looks really good I've got a decent uh, high mark on the right hand side but it's not pushed all the way over to the right so we should be good on that um, I'm at f2.8 again so I can isolate that branch and all the detail in it and then blur everything else in the background out um, I'm getting about a 1 to of the second on ISO 100 and that's enough to completely freeze that branch even though it's moving slightly um, I know it's probably pretty bright behind me back there but I'm sure you can see some of it back there it's moving slightly um, but it's not so much that 1 to the second isn't freezing it as it's moving and I take the image I mean I am kind of waiting until the, the wind has died down a little bit and you know it's not moving as much so Final settings, 1 2 50 the second, um, f2.8, ISO 100, and I think I'm about 100 millimeters right now on focal length on the 70 to 200. So two second timer, doesn't look like the branch is moving too much, so we should be able to freeze it. I'm going to zoom in, see that everything's nice and sharp. Yeah, everything looks good. Yeah, I think that's going to turn out to be a really good image. When it's squared up on, in post-processing, it should look really good. So here's the image. You know, I tell you what, I don't know what I was thinking out here today. Um, conditions are just unreal to shoot photography in. My gear's all wet. Everything's just just covered in snow. So I don't know what I was thinking. But uh, so I was actually headed back to the truck. Uh, gonna call it a day. But as I was walking back up the trail, actually the, the path that I walked on as I was going back up, you know, I saw something that I didn't see when I was coming back down here. And that's all the trees that line this trail. Um, you can tell this, the, the snow is coming from behind me and it's heading in the uphill direction of the path that I came down. So all the front sides of these trees that, that line the, this path are just covered with snow on one side but on the edges of it you can still see the, the outlining browns and greens of the trees. So it almost makes it look like the trees are all flat on one side and it's all white and then the edges are the browns and greens of the trees. And then the path that you have here in the middle with my footprints in it going back up into the trail kind of gives a nice leading line up into the image and through this pathway. I don't know, as I turned the corner as I was walking back, I just saw it and it looked really cool. So I figured as I'm, you know, making my way back to the truck to call it a day, I might as well stop and set this stuff up and get one last image maybe. I don't know, maybe I'll stop again on the way back to the truck a couple of times. I don't know, we'll just see what happens. But for this image... Um, I'll go ahead and talk you through what I was looking at for settings. Again, with the everything being so white, I know that it's hard for my camera to determine a proper exposure. So what I'm doing is just simply using the histogram itself. I've got it pulled up on the um, uh, live screen and I'm just using the uh, exposed to the right method. Um, just to make sure that everything is there detail wise in the shadows but I'm also not going to blow out any of the highlights. Um, in the image there's a bunch of trees that are stacked that go up this hill along this pathway. I've chosen one of the nearest trees um, in the frame, zoomed in on it, manually focused, made sure that it was nice to tack sharp. I'm using an aperture of f10 so I know that as the trees go further and further up this trail, they will break, they will have a little bit of fall off and they'll start to get somewhat soft. But I'm not so worried about that. I just it's it almost I almost like the fact that it may just kind of like um, soften itself out towards the end of this trail. It kind of just gives you that idea of this trail is going into somewhere, but you don't know where it's going at all. Just off into this winter wonderland of snow that we have here. So. I just think it's really cool the way it's uh, set up on this frame. 
So, F10, 130th of a second, and ISO 100. Um, I'm still shooting with a two second timer, that way, um, minimize any kind of camera shake that I can while I'm getting this image. So, I'm gonna get this last image and we'll keep moving along the trail. If uh, I don't stop again to take another image, I'll stop at the truck so I can close out this video and send you guys on your way today. All right, let's get this one. Yeah, I think it's gonna look good. If you guys remember a couple of videos, a few videos back, I did that uh, pathway trail with the trees lining each side of it. Uh, it's kind of very similar to this, but just with uh, with snowy conditions. And I'm gonna try to bring it um, into about an eight by 10 crop um, just to keep it nice and compact. I like to show the the height of these trees somewhat. They are pretty tall, so. Anyway, here's the image. Okay, so I've set up for my final image. I've came across these nice uniform trees along at the edge of this wood line. And they've got some great uh, yellow, tan, brown, and green moss as you can see as I'm panning you through these trees. Um, and they've just got such great contrast between the browns and the earth tones of the trees and the white snow that's following um, on the edge of these, on the right sides of the, each of these trees. You'll see the snow that's just there. Um, so what I'd like to do in this image is I'd like to stitch together maybe four or five images and create a panoramic of this, this wide uh, angled section of these trees. I just think it'd turn out to be a really good um, panoramic image. So one of the first things that, that you can make sure that you always got to do in this instance, what you're going to do is, is level your tripod as, as level as it is. And luckily I've got on my Arca Swiss adapter and on my tripod itself, I've got the leveling balls already installed on them. So I went ahead before I put my camera on there and I leveled this out as, as good as I can. And it's pretty much level. Um, so that way, I'll show you, as you're turning the camera from image to image to image to image, the camera is going to stay level as you do that. It's not going to get all wonky on you as you're trying to get these images. Because um, that's the last thing you want to do when you're going in Lightroom to stitch these together is have images that they're all wonky because you're going to end up having to, when they stitch together, crop it so much that you're going to lose some of the image and stuff. So um, the most ideal thing to do is make sure that you level your tripod before you even get started. What I've done for each image is I'm, I'm on F10. So I found the area that I want to start my panoramic on, on the left edge of the frame over here. So I'll zoom in on the live screen to the tree that's over there, make sure I lock it down in place so it's not gonna move. And then I do a quick autofocus and see if it's nice and tack sharp. If I need to make any hand adjustments, that's too easy to do, all right? So that image is good to go, so I can go ahead with a two second timer. Um, right now I'm getting 1 25th of a second, which should be fine. This, the tree's not moving, it's solid. Um, the snow is gonna be falling, so you might see that blur across the frame but I'm nice and steady, so 1 25th of a second is going to be fine. Two seconds. Check it real quick. Make sure that it's nice and sharp. Looks like it is. And then we just repeat this process. So I make sure that I go over to a section here. All right, I want to leave enough overlap in each of these images to where when I stitch them together, it has enough information to where it's going to have no problem putting them in the right spot. Again, go to the tree that I want to ensure that I'm nice and focused on. Zoom in to 100%. Back button focus. Looks like it's good. Two second timer. And then you get the picture. So we're going to do that over and over again till I get, I've already done it by the way, um, till I get five images across. And then I get home, I put them in Lightroom and stitch them together and hopefully they turn out. And if they did, you're going to see the image right now.
Okay, so like I was saying, um, this is the last image that I'm going to do today. Um, not st still again, I'm not sure what I was thinking coming out here in this these conditions and uh, doing photography, but hey, you know, out here in conditions like this, better than any day sitting in the office, and that's what I'd have been doing today if they if this weather wouldn't have came in and I wouldn't have got a uh, you know a snow day. So take advantage of it, get out here and shoot some photography. Hopefully the images I got today turned out. Hopefully you enjoyed them. So. All right, well, I'm going to close this out again. As always, thank you so much for uh, stopping in and, and watching my channel. If you like the content, please hit the like button. Um, please leave some comments. I love all the comments from everybody. They're so encouraging. I, I love the feedback that you get and honestly take everything to heart to make sure that I try to think about those things as I go out on my next trips when I go to do shoot, shoot photography. So um, definitely hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. and. And until next time, be blessed.